special Ready Steady Cook. in store for you today. Please welcome first up in the Red Kitchen, cooking with Leslie Walters, it's the comedian and TV presenter, Nick Hancock! <laughs> and in the Green Kitchen, joining Chef Richard Phillips, it's that great England cricketer. Yes, it could only be Anna Lang! <laughs> Fantastic. Great to have you on the programme. It's lovely to be. I'm beside myself with excitement. I know. Ready, <laughs> it's kind of... Everybody just thinks, oh, Ready City Cook, you I know. know. It's been with us for so long. I know, and you get here and it's... Oh, oh all excited. Are you, are you a good sportsman? I've seen you play football. We've done for Sports Relief, we've played <laughs> football out in yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah. What about the old cricket? Well, I like to play, but I'm obviously a poor I mean, you've got a Lammy on the show, you know, yeah. I wouldn't like to claim that I have any skills, but I, I try. Yeah. I'm a game trier. Yeah, exactly, a game <laughs> trier. Are you a game trier in the kitchen, Nick? Yeah. I'm yeah. a bit of an irritant in the kitchen. I'm mm. very much popping around. Anybody that's cooking in my kitchen, I'm going, have you forgotten that? And shouldn't oh. you be putting I know. I've met your I'm wife. Like... I know. She cooks the most wonderful Iranian she food, but she always gets you out there. Yeah. Go on, get out your bag, <laughs> goodies, on, and let's have a look. Here we go. Mm. Well, oh, tell us bag. what you've brought along there. Well, uh, broccoli, especially because that's, that's my kid's favourite. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Brilliant that my kid's favourite food should be broccoli, because yeah, usually yeah, they're not you. so key. Obviously, Rock for because it's the Prince of Cheeses. All oh, right then, new potatoes, mango, and some uh, the old beetroot on the old stalk. So, how much did you spend, Nick? I spent a ridiculous ten pounds and eight pence. Oh, I'm we're not going to moan about that. Shall we let him off? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank they you very much. love you here, Nick. What do you think, Leslie Walters? Wow, it's a beautiful bag. Mm. Is that right? Yes, perfect, I'm darling. So. Perfect. Mm. Um, stunning. Um, I think for a start, this. Looks such beautiful lamb. I'm not going to mess with it. I okay. think I'm just going to marinate it in olive oil and black pepper. Lovely. Keep it really, really simple, mm. and then do sort of like a, a crushed um, roquefort and potato oh, mash mm. to go I want with it. it. Now. Oh, no, I want it now. Delicious. Which I think would be stunning. Mm. I think I'm going to do a posh cauliflower cheese with this because I love broccoli, but I think maybe some sort of fondue to go with the broccoli. Very nice. We don't really, mind really that. Really good. Yeah. I love beetroot as well. I'm going to keep that a secret as to what I'm going to do yeah, with that. Yeah. And we've got a lot of mango here, so I think we're going to do two puddings with this, but you'll just have to wait and see. I like the idea of you, you squeezing that thing. Is it right? Can you give uh, Nick a bit of a right. squeeze and tell right. me whether he's right then, Liz? Right is perfect, right. right is perfect. He's perfect. Absolutely <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Nick and Leslie, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, right. How are you doing? Good, good, good to, to see you, you on there. Yeah. Really, really good to see you. You still get out in the crease sometimes? No, too old for that. No, really? I, just, I just watch. I just watch. Yeah. Yeah. But you're uh, you're a great sort of believer in sort of you know people who do things with sports and charities. You've supported it for many, many years, haven't you, Lammy? Yeah, totally. And I think sports great. It brings people together, and, and sports relief is just wonderful because you know you go all over the world. Mm -hmm. What habit? Sports brings people together, yeah. so I'm a great believer. It's never going to stop. Something that's just there with us, isn't it, Sport Richie? and food. Yeah, sport and food. Definitely. Food, food. Let's have a look in that bag. What have you bought along well, for us well. yesterday? Good stuff, good, good stuff. stuff. Yeah, I know. There, there we are. There we are. What have we, we got are. here, then? Right. I've got a little bit of venison. So I think venison at the moment is... Also, people have lost it. I think if you cook venison the right way, it's just as good as beef. So mm. I thought venison beef. Perfect. Winter, a bit of kale, mm. chopped up and a little bit of whatever, but I'll leave that to you, you know. That. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely mushrooms, the big old put a bit of mushrooms, cherry tomatoes and potato, a potato. And a bit of cheese. And a little bit How of... How much did that cost you? I think nine seventy nine. Nine seventy nine. I think it's a lovely bet. Was he done, Chef? No, he's under. Under. under I know. See. Well I under. Mean, look, Nick. Over ten pounds. <laughs> I mean, a steak boy. I didn't know he had so much. He's having a go at you. No, over uh, there, so when somebody else is paying, I'm happy to put over ten. <laughs> yeah, you, would, you know what those steak, steak boys are like. They're very oh, tight, don't, don't. mate. What do you think, then, Chef? Well, this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, we were talking earlier, and now we've got such a lot in common about food, and I, I love venison. Um, so I think keep it quite classic with this. Um, so mostly venison. I'm going to tie it up and do a, a peppercorn crust. So mm -hmm. herb and peppercorn crust on top of that. We'll slice that. It'll be absolutely wonderful. Um, maybe we'll do some nice 
nice um, spiced wedges to go with it. Keep it quite classic. Um, what are we going to do here? I will do a mushroom um, and onion sort of, I think maybe like a French onion soup mm. with a nice um, brie, brie de mole on Whoa, top. Oh, sounds good. And we'll make our own tomato relish to go with this as well. Oh, Fantastic. Sounds excellent. Sounds good. He's absolutely delighted. Nick Hancock down there is absolutely delighted too, ladies and gentlemen. You know what's in store. Hold your applause, because first we have to give them 20 minutes and say those words. Ready, steady, cook. Okay, on, okay get those aprons on, guys, <laughs> and let's see how it goes. Hey, Les, you're straight in there. What are you oh, doing? Oh, blimey. I need to get Nick give doing me these. Give get your balls up. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. right, OK, so... Quite strict, isn't she? <laughs> I, no, I'll tell you what. I like it. I like very it. bossy. I, a lot of men like a bossy woman. There's a little kitchen. sexual free song here. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a little one. <laughs> do, you, do you never get bossed about at home, then, Nick? I do sometimes. Yeah. Let's say yeah, sometimes. Of course I do. Yeah, everybody likes yeah. that. And do you boss Tim at home a little bit, uh, Les? Yes, absolutely. His nickname for me is Gordon. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that, that, that's revealed everything, I tell oh, you. Dear. Right, okay. OK. Am I doing this properly? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it, darling. I would, Good. You're do, actually, you're doing it perfectly, cos you don't want a peeler, cos the, the skin is... There's hardly anything right. there, so just scrape them off. And what about the uh, beetroot uh, sort of leaves here, Les? Would you use them Use them, them in a salad. So, Nick, the next thing I want you to do is give them a wash. Yeah, I haven't finished this yet. Well, hurry up. This? <laughs> 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 goodness sake! Oh, oh, my word. She <laughs> don't mess about. She, <laughs> she, oh, dearly. She's, she's, a, she's almost as bossy as Alan Sugar, isn't she? <laughs> oh, talking yeah. about Alan Sugar. Yeah, got to say, ladies and gentlemen, Nick is, uh, has done the, the Alan Sugar a bit in sports relief. What was it yeah, like? The Apprentice I did for Alan mm. Sugar. I'll tell you what was interesting. I mean, he's uh, he's got a bit of a reputation as, uh, as Sir Alan. Yeah, Sir Alan, absolutely Sir Alan. Uh, and it's well-deserved, I'm going to tell you. He's strict, yeah. but he's, he's funnier than you'd think. He's, quite mm. a, he's a funny bloke. He's good. Well, he, he, he ran Tottenham Hotspur for such a long time. <laughs> yeah, so he must be used <laughs> to having a bit of a laugh. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude about my side, eh? Is that oh, your side? No, You're no, not no, a no, Tottenham no, fan, surely. I, I didn't know that, uh, Mr Lamb. Yeah. Are you a Tottenham fan? Um, Did he get fired? Yeah. He probably got I, fired. I can't tell you if you got... You have to watch uh, Sport Relief tonight, watch the whole night of Sport Relief, and you'll find out who does get fired. Mm. Oh, from we all like The Apprentice. That, we? we all like that. Oh. I'll tell you, you, you who's one of the people. He's, uh, he's Hardy, but he's a bit of a chef, isn't he? Old Hardy. Oh, yeah. Cody, yeah. Yeah. So he was on there, and Tuffers... Tuffers was on there, Lammy. Oh, God. Would you employ Tuffers? Tuffers? I don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible, then. I'll have a go at each other, these cricketers. Sport in general, eh? Tell, tell us what you're going to be doing here then, Liz. Well, I think we're going to be doing a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, let's just start off with this mango. I'm going to do a really, really simple mango and brown sugar kind of pudding cream. Mm -hmm. But I'm also going to make some quick, instant mango um, type of tarts using the bread here. OK, that's um, going to be your base, is it? And that's going to be the base. And we're just going to start off with a little bit of butter. OK. So what you need, Ames, is brown sugar, mango... Uh, uh, can you just look at the texture of that bread? Because if you look at it, it's quite dense. It's almost cake-like, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. OK. Yeah? So you're actually adding the sweetness. So you've got the basis there of uh, what you might say... Almost like a, a Madeira sponge. cake. Yeah? Yeah? Lovely. Um, so we're just going to get on with that. OK, we've you got... Doing you're doing I'm very well. Too badly. I'm nearly you're doing down very these. well. 17 minutes to go now, guys. Okay. Okay, oh, brown sugar. Eggs and um, cream too, Les? Eggs and cream... No, actually, I'm going to keep it quite pure. Mm -hmm. Honey, Jeez. lime, brown sugar, and just put it onto a baking tray mm. and just serve it with cream. Lovely. So these are nice idea, guys. Eh? Sometimes those kind of simple things really kind of help us at home because, you know, we often think bread. Oh, what am I going to do with bread? Let's just put a bread and butter pudding. There, Sprinkle a bit of sugar. The mango goes on top, as Leslie says, and we have a perfect dessert, a dessert with a bit of lime, did you say, too, Leslie? Bit of lime. Oh, God, so looking forward to seeing that, that later. In. OK, we'll come back and see you. Okay, Let's leave Nick, Nick and uh, Leslie for the moment and uh, see how Richard and Lammy are getting on down here. Uh, chef, are we talking venison? We are, we're talking venison, Ains. Oh. So I've just tied it, just to keep the shape. Very important mm -hmm. when you And did you talk about things. peppercorns with it too? Or? Yes, I'm going to uh, attempt to do a, uh, if I have the time, yeah. a uh, peppercorn and herb and bread crust. So we're going to make a lovely crust from the um, mm. sort of... Uh, bread, 
butter, blitz up some herbs, get it nice and Fantastic. green. Fantastic. And some lovely pepper um, yeah. corns in there as well. OK, okay so, so nice robust of, herbs in there. Very much so. A bit of thyme, hard herbs. Going to get some colour on that. Got a little bit of garlic in there. Mm -hmm. Then some fresh butter's going to go into that. We're just going to nappe it, a spooning over all these wonderful brown, nutty flavours from the butter. But I'm going to wow. cook it on the top here. Okay. I'm going to keep it nice and pink. OK, and so, so that doesn't hit the oven at all, all No, the time. because I want it nice and, uh, nice and pink. Lovely. OK, cool. We've got, um, we've got on here... Mm -hmm. We've got our uh, lovely tomato salsa, which Alan's uh, kindly chopped up. Bit of vinegar, bit of sugar, bit of tomato puree. We're going to make our own tomato chutney with that. There you go. To serve with the venison. Now, I can't understand people who go out and buy tomato that chutney, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you've got a few tomatoes at home, guys. If it, you know those that are getting a little bit soft in the bottom of your fridge? Perfect, wouldn't you say, Rich? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's perfect. the best ones to use because yeah. um, they're just packed full of flavour, you know? Sure. What about you, Al? Do you ever kind of go to the bottom of your fridge and oh. pull out a few ingredients and think I'm going to make something? Well, what you said about cherry tomatoes is perfect. Mm. Get that morning on today. Say, always have a bit of grilled tomatoes on toast in the morning before you go to work. Oh, Absolutely that perfect. Get you going. What do you have? You got wonderful memories of your, your early days in South Africa? Are you are you a bit of a babute man, or what do you like? Well, you know, we were sort of a meat would be a a, a big sort of. Dish in South Big Africa, pro, yeah. you know, eating out sort of barbecues and mm. that type of stuff. And but they kind of like to introduce a bit of sweetness too, don't they? They like their kind of fruits, that kind of Malay influence, if you like. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Mm. And mm. I think it's changed since you've been down there. Mm. You've created a whole new <laughs> oh, no. way of life. Every down time there I go back thinking. to South Africa, it all no, happens but, again. Um, no, no, I think uh, I think the, the, everything's gone. You know, the mm. fusion food, cooking, everything. I think South Africa's sort of expanded. I haven't been back yeah. for a while, but uh, they tell me it's great. Some of the food restaurants oh, are... Unbelievable. And the quality, the cuts, and the pound goes a long way with the rand. Oh, yes, it does. Quite amazing. <laughs> About 14 minutes to go. Now, you, you know, when you were touring and you were going to all these exotic countries, then we're talking, you know, a few years ago, what was the food like, Alan? And is it, do, do you have a favourite? Do you have a country where you think, I can't wait to go back there on tour again? You know, I think my first trip was to, to India, and I was in a big uh, um, curry man. Mm. And uh, it was only the second trip I went back. I loved the curry. So the mm. first one, I was on bully beef and, yeah. and, and sort of uh, omelettes and that. But uh, what I found about going, when we were touring around the country, it was mm. brilliant to go and sample the wine, sample the different yeah. food. Mm. And I think that's what it's like. But what about fishing? Because uh, you went off to New Zealand. You're very keen to go down that part of the world. And yeah. I, I mean, what we used to... New Zealand was great because we used to go uh, fly fishing and if we caught the fish, we took it back to the hotel and... Mm. The, I said to the hotel manager, you've got to cook this for us, and they did, it was brilliant. Oh, I mean, even brilliant. one day, I mean, we got back to the hotel and we had this big salmon and we mm. said we'll have it in Elton John suite. Was, he was touring then with us, watching the cricket, and went up and had a party up in his room. You see, you see, you see, which you're, is... if you're a top sportsman, <laughs> you get to meet all the best, eh? The old uh, rocket man himself. Oh, rocket man. Oh, I yeah. tell you. Let's catch up with the chef here. All sorts of things. Uh, a bit unusual, he's frying the chips here and a little bit of a garlic oil. Why is that then, chef? Just to enhance the flavour, really, mm -hmm. uh, Ainsley. You know, I'm shallow frying, you know, I'm, I don't mean deep frying, it's... Uh, because one, I don't really have the time mm -hmm. to uh, blanch them. I like to blanch my chips first. So this is more like a, a fried potato rather than a chip. And briefly about those before um, you throw them so in the So this oven. is our wonderful um, flat mushrooms. Yeah. I've just uh, cooked down a little bit of the tomatoes, mm -hmm. a bit of the curly kale. I've got the breed de mow. Breed de mow, absolutely fantastic. And you can just smell it. The so between right. the breed de mow and just ordinary breed. Just it's a wonderful French brie. It's um, a bit more mature, isn't it? It, it is. Real intense flavour. And this is going to be a... Try it out, guys. A little bit more expensive, admittedly, but the flavour, as Richard worth said, the money. is really worth, worth it. Money. Fantastic. So right, just a bit, bit of white wine. Yeah. A bit of butter. It's going to create its own sauce. Put some thyme in here as well. And all those flavours are going to work really well together. They're going to go into the oven. Great. It won't take long. I'm making okay, a French onion, onion soup. soup. OK? Right, so sweat down the onions. That would be great, Angie. Thank you. Tell us about the French onion soup. So I'm going to cut the onions down. Um, but not too quick. We don't want fried onions. We're not at a football match. We're going to mm. stew them down. Okay. We get a nice brown colour. So keep brushing the base of the pan, getting okay. those lovely caramel flavours out. But what's very important is season early on. It brings out all the sweetness from the onion and lets it drain. And that'll it help it caramelise it. a little it. bit, really, doesn't That's going to help it caramelise. Nice little touch flavors. there by our chef. So what we're then going to do, um, and this, Ains, this, this, this bread that Alan's cutting here, that's, that's going to be the top. That's gonna be, we made like a, a rarebit, a yeah. Welsh rarebit. Which okay. is in there. That's the other part of our breed of mode. Worcestershire yeah. sauce, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a little bit of Dijon mustard, salt, pepper and one egg yolk. We're going to spread that over the top mm. of our croutons. 
Yeah. And that's going to sit on top of the soup and just be really okay. oozy. Okay. And is that the right consistency, or do you want that oh, mashed? Let's give it a little bit of a whisk there, um, okay. please, Alan. It's, uh, it's just not quite uh, what I was looking for. Uh, OK. <laughs> Shall we put it in a little blender, Chef? Yeah, I think we'll just blend that up a little bit. I think we're just going to get that... I think we're going to put that in a little blender. I'll get one for you, Al. Okay. No problem, mate. Yeah. What I've got, um, Ainge, is... Uh, I've got yeah. a grill on here, so, Alan, <laughs> if you could just um, pop it under the, uh, the grill to toast yeah. the bread. I only need two of those. That's perfect. You've got OK. Okay. okay, just past halfway now, guys. Oh goodness! Wow, there you go. what's happened to this? I know. Time just absolutely pop. Pop that on the top there. Press that button, and away you go. Magic. That Thanks, Ace. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, we've got lots of interesting things here. The venison's cooking down. How long would you have to leave that rest for, Chef? Um, I always sort of um, the half the cooking time, and this goes for anything you're cooking. Yeah. Half the cooking time, rest it for that amount of time. So if I cook yeah. that for ten minutes, rest it for five. That's a good tip. Good tip, guys. Yeah. Think about that when you're doing your roast or something like that. And you okay. two guys Adam, at home, Adam, when you're doing a roast or you know a bit of beef or something like that, you've put into the oven. Just allow it to relax, how are you? Let's get back and find out how Leslie's getting on with these crusted lamb cutlets here. Look at those. They're looking good. Yeah, he's they are looking great. good. Look at him, he's cooking. <laughs> he's, he's, he's really got me working, actually. <laughs> and do you know what? I've enjoyed it. Are you really? <laughs> I've well, never, ever done an hour's work or 20 minutes' work in my life. There you and go. I find it's quite good fun. There you go. <laughs> I feel said. pure. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> How many people come on Ready, Steady, Cook and say that, Les? They yeah, absolutely quite a lot, love it. Actually. I know, it's extraordinary. All right, my darling, you've got something sealed there in the pan. What, what's that going on? Oh, it's just steaming away the tender stem, ah, and right. I'm steaming it in the wine, and then I'm going to add the cheese, lift it out and add the cheese to the wine. Wow, that's very French, isn't it? Ooh. Cheese and wine and all that yeah, going yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you think Ooh, yourself as a teenager, babies. Down, didn't you? Mate, eh? Pressing <laughs> over. <laughs> All right, okay, oh, okay. how are you doing there? That's They're not good. very well. Mm. So, Nick, uh, yeah. what, what are you doing? You're going off with the sports relief. You're looking forward to this? Uh, yes, sport relief's going to be fantastic. I mean, you've been to Africa with me with Comet Relief mm. before, haven't you? And, it, and of course, there's, there's always an issue with food, with Comet Relief and mm. visiting Africa, things like oh, that. Oh, well. But I know, I know when we got the, thoroughly sick, didn't we? We did get very, very sick. The mm. thing I remember most of all is it doesn't matter where you go, and obviously, you visit some very unfortunate places in Africa, mm. but when you get to a town, even in the middle of Africa, we went to Burkina Faso, didn't That's we? It. Wagadougou. Yeah, there is an, mm. a, a, a Chinese restaurant wherever you go. <laughs> you can be in the middle of nowhere. There's a happy walk. Isn't it? It's true. It's so true, ladies and gentlemen. True. I tell you, unbelievable. There we are. Pasta. And we, there we are. We travelled. We were with, as, as uh, Nick was saying, we were with Comic Relief out in Africa. We travelled all through the bush. We'd eaten all the food that'd been taken from the land using That's our right. fingers and yep. everything else. And all of us, when we got to a big major city, we got to Ghana, went to a five-star hotel, had the eggs a little bit too underdone. You get food poisoning. That's happened poison. to me. And it happened to me when yeah. I was in Thailand. There you go. In India as well. You know. Although I remember the other thing I remember about going to Africa with Comic mm. Relief was that Ainsley mm. got upgraded to first class, oh, you know. And do you know what now. happened? Do you remember? He got food poisoning. <laughs> the rest of us, who were in the rest of the plane, we were fine. That's <laughs> enough, that's enough. Okay, now mix that in there what? for me. Oh, oh lovely. Just, <laughs> I'm, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, oh, man. Don't worry, Nick, don't worry. She, she, uh, you learn something from it, mate. That's okay, lovely double stuff. double cream, double All right, cream. Double cream, double cream. Of, Here. Right, okay, I want you to add a bit of black pepper in there. It's your garlic dip. A little bit of salt. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is our... Rock four in there. Then in a moment, I want you to strain those and crush them for me, Nick. Strain okay. what? And crush them. These potatoes. Those. What am I doing in with about this? two minutes. What are we doing Mix with that? that together with a spoon. But not okay. too quickly. You've got about six minutes to go. Okay. We're fine. Right. We're fine. Mm. All right. We're and right, uh, what about media you? stuff, Nick? What are you up to? Media stuff. I'm in the middle of doing a uh, game show on ITV mm -hmm. called Jewel, which Going is well. Saturday night. Yeah, it seems to be okay. And that's that's quite interesting. Mm. I mean, you know, you and I, Angie, we started together, didn't we? Oh, no, a long doing time the, ago. Doing the comedy circuit. I used to love those days. And, you know, yeah, right? well, quite oh. honestly, I'm amazed that you're still in work and yeah. you must be amazed that I'm still in work. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough, isn't it? I love this man. <laughs> he's like my brother. In fact, he's my agent. <laughs> <laughs> We're both still getting away with it, mate. I that's know, we is. certainly are. So what have you done with that, then, Les? This is a Greek yoghurt and cream and lime and maple cream. Yeah. And I'm just going to finish that off with loads of mango on the top. Yeah. And darling, I need a, um, yes. a lime. A darling, lime? What? what do you want to do with that a lime? lime? I want you to squeeze the yep. lime over this yes. for me. Oh, lovely. Okay. okay. Sure. Squeeze. Mm -hmm. Squeeze. Squeeze. I'm squeezing, mm -hmm. girl. Beautiful. Oh, that's looking good. And so the idea of the lime, and it's particularly nice with things like uh, mango and papaya, isn't it, Les? Absolutely. Um, a little bit of lime absolutely. juice. Absolutely. Sharpness against the sweetness. Absolutely. Here we go. Okay, let's have a look here. Bellow in smoke. <laughs> Just check, I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to smash, smash this. I can't maybe. see anything in here, Liz. <laughs> Where's the rest of that rock 
four cheese gone. Nick, get that in there and the mint from over there. OK, and let's do you take the lime when it's cut and yeah, squeeze and on the top? Yeah, squeeze it over the top, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Just look at that. And this is the toasted sweet bread with the mango on top and it's baked. You can see the lovely Do little all flecks of, of lime there. Yeah, I want it all in, baby, and, and I where, want you to mash it. Where's the brown sugar, Leslie? The brown sugar I couldn't find, so it's white sugar oh, on the top, yeah. OK? Well, I'll put it on the top of the table I know, I'm blind. All right, then. So was I when I opened the oven. <laughs> 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 hey, what's it doing? Oh, I love you too, Les. <laughs> okay, we've Which got one's these. Mint? Uh... Which one's mint? Which one's mint? Uh, the mint is. We he, can find he it. He doesn't know. No, I do. It's just a case of finding it. It's not. Uh... There it is. Oh, thank goodness. Right, there, Nick, that one, where's magic, that garlic, okay. uh, that wonderful garlic stuff you did? Okay, we've got three minutes to go. Let's oh, leave Leslie and Nick. They're, they're, they're doing a fantastic down job down there. Yeah. All those things of lovely sucking at lamb and stuff like that. But uh, what's happening with Richard? Okay, I think we're just in time for the mushrooms to come out of the oven. All right, chef, let's have a look at those. Wow. They've come out. You can see that it's melted. The aromas are there. The white wine's coming through. The thyme. Just bang on. Let me just show you what I've done with the venison. OK. So I cooked it whole, OK, uh -huh. so it kept nice and, uh, nice and moist. Let it rest. I've just cut one half of it in half, if that makes sense. Yeah. We made a wonderful um, peppercorn crust here, OK? So that was... Um, peppercorn crust. Peppercorn is... crust with herbs. Yeah. And I made that. So it's butter, yeah. breadcrumbs, um, blended together with Coming some up herbs. for two minutes. Um, yeah. Ains, would you... Um, I'm not sure what's going on, Mr. Do you want to put my grill on? Yeah, it's, it's, it's yes, on there. Uh, no, oh, it's not his money. Tried, but, um, OK, we'll just do this, Al. Here we are, mate. Um, uh, let's find bit that of a gun for you. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have, have a bit of a blowtorch on there, Al. A blowtorch. If I can <laughs> find it, I... Uh, I'll be able to find it in a second. There we are, mate. There we are. Use this one here. There we are. We haven't got a grill, so there straight away. Are. There's your grill. Improvise. Lovely. So let me tell you about this crust. Yeah, okay, so you'll be all right. Won't do anything. Right okay. there. Just, just hold it there. Hold it there. That's it. Hold it there. That's it, my man. Gee. Looking good. That's it. Keep just keep concentrating on that. We'll toast up beautifully. So let me all right, so there's the onion. So soup. following on from that crust. So we blended up the butter, mm. the bread, the herbs, the peppercorns, blended it so we get a wonderful colour mm. and a great smell. I've just topped the venison with that. And that's what we're going to serve with the tomato chutney and Ooh. the uh, the wonderful fresh tomato curly chutney. chutney. Fresh tomato okay, chutney. we've got How's one and a half minutes to go. How's that's that good. looking, yeah? Yeah, look, yeah, just hold that there. That's it, like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's leave our chefs to get on with it now. You can see the food really is coming together. Lots of wonderful aromas. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Adam, once that's ready, you might just be hot. Very good. Doing, okay. yeah. One minute to go. Top of the soup, please. Oh, baby. Top of the soup. Woo! <laughs> 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 right. 45 seconds okay, now. Let's go, Lovey. How are you doing? Bit of lemon. Get on with that. Okay. Not too bad. Well done, Yuri. Uri. Don't get me in front of that. It's the new Uri Geller. What do you need? Pick chervil, pick parsley. Now. Right, and a nice sprig of time. You know what that is? OK, 30 seconds yeah. now. All right, mate. OK, hang on a second. And ice and sugar dredger, which is underneath. Really, when I'm, I'm just a little bit of time on top, yeah? Yeah, not All right, because I'm running out seconds. of time. OK, guys, help me ready to count down. Don't worry. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Have a look what's on our sports relief menu today. In the Red Kitchen, Leslie and Nick have been busy preparing roasted balsamic beetroot with garlic sour cream dip, followed by broccoli stem steamed in white wine with a roquefort fondue. Crusted lamb cutlets with mint butter crumbs served on crushed roquefort potatoes. Maple and lime syllabub with juicy mango cheeks. And finally, sweet baked mango and lime bruschetta. Whilst over in the green kitchen, Richard and Alan have been busy preparing French onion and white wine soup with rarebit croutons. Baked mushrooms stuffed with tomato, kale and melted brie. Glazed venison with peppercorns and herb crust with homemade tomato chutney and buttered kale. And finally, roasted venison served with garlic potato wedges and a red wine and peppercorn sauce. Fantastic. OK, let's find out exactly what it tastes like. Come on, Nick, come over come here. On, it's no good disappearing, my man. Come on, come on. All right, then, where should we start then, Leslie? I think we should start maybe with the beet, actually, with okay. the beetroots. Oh, can I go with my fingers? Because yeah. it looks, okay. it looks okay. like it's got to be dipped. Pick one up. As I say, I'm not used to having them like this. I'm, I'm dip, excited. Dip. 
Exciting. So these were roast, uh, parboiled and then roasted mm. in balsamic, a little bit of butter mm. and mm. olive oil. Mm. And then we just made a very simple sour cream yeah, and yeah. garlic dip with black pepper. Very yeah. simple, but a really lovely way of serving yeah. them, I think. And when you're used to having them, you know, in the vinegar and everything, yeah. they, they've got such a different consistency, haven't they? Yeah, very, very tasty. Different yeah. Lovely, like okay, that. OK, and about, about okay, so moving on to this again, thing. Yeah, yeah, so I will, now, I've got to tell you straight up that I don't usually like crusts on things. OK. Oh, don't usually like herb crusts, don't usually like breadcrumbs, yeah. things like that. So, I'm looking forward to it, given that I breadcrumb them, we'll see. That's very nice. Actually, that's nice and moist. That's nice right. and moist and pink. pink yeah. So, um, all we very very simply, yeah. we didn't mess about with them. Such a beautiful piece of meat, yeah. and we just made some breadcrumbs, beaten egg, into the egg, into the breadcrumbs, pan fried butter, butter, and then mm. new potatoes just mashed with rock that's four. Gorgeous. Is it really and lovely? Yeah. Go on then, mate. You get go in. Go Very simple pudding. I've done it with mango, but you could do it with passion <laughs> fruit or pineapple. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Maple cream. Well done, Nick. You're lovely, mate. You got that in one, yeah. didn't you? Very nice. I mean, very nice doesn't really sum it up. Very different. What's in the cream? We've got a Maple lime. The lime. lime, you can taste the lime. And because mango is quite sweet, it's really nice to have the lime there that kind of cuts it through. Overall, yeah. happy, Nick? I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah he's I'm absolutely happy. delighted. Yeah. Will you continue yeah. to cook, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, yeah. <laughs> OK, you've been waiting patiently here, Lammy. <laughs> All right, mate. I think it's got to be the onion soup, Get isn't stuck it, into the onion soup. Oh, Quite yeah. classical, really, um, but just works so well. We made a, um, a, a white onion sort of um, uh, French onion soup, so we caramelise them off, like I said, but quite slowly, get the lovely richness from that. Would you have cooked those onions for longer, Chef, or are you um, quite Probably happy? about another five, ten minutes, just okay. uh, obviously if I had the time. Um, is... And then white wine. Then stock, some thyme leaves in there, a little bit of garlic, not too much. You want to taste the onion, not overpower it. <laughs> and, and those look pretty good in the middle there, don't they, Chef? Well, that's got the, um, a, few, a few tomatoes it's in there, which you just quick, quickly cook down. A uh, mm. little, little bit of balsamic uh, vinegar in there as well. Curly kale, the brie just on top, white wine like I showed you, and then a, a sprig of thyme, and mm. it's cooked in the oven, steams with the white wine. Oh, um, this one here? Absolutely. Mm. Taste the tomatoes, cheese in there. It's just in there unbelievable. Well, this are. is our own tomato chutney. So tomatoes, yeah. tomato uh, puree, some sugar, some salt, some tomato um, puree in there as well, um, and a little bit of vinegar. Um, just cooked down really, really slowly. Nice ripe tomatoes. That's all you need. And it's got to make oh, a, a lovely tomato salad. You love that? Yeah, you know, this friend of mine's got this venison farm, and he's been supplying me with these. Mm. They're called Ratting Reds. It's amazing, the farm. Yeah. And um, I've um, been getting quite a lot of venison, and people come around That's to good. eat. And uh, they, they think it. it's brilliant. They say, great piece of beef you got. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we, well, we top that with a nice uh, peppercorn crust. So peppercorns, butter, yeah. herbs and some bread. I think it just mixes in so well, that venison and, well. and that. Works really well. And then we've got the um, garlic potato wedges, which you saw. We cooked, mm. um, shallow fried them in, uh, in some nice Ooh, veg oil. A bit of garlic in uh, there. A bit of garlic in there. And then we roasted the, uh, the venison. This was quite naturally roasted with mm. some garlic and some thyme. We made a red wine sauce. So it's a red wine reduction, red wine, some um, onion in there as well. Reduced that down, cream. Thumbs up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Yeah, come on there, Alan <laughs> and Richard have also done a fantastic yeah. job, ladies and gentlemen. But once again, where will our studio audience go? Who will they be voting for? Will it be Nick and Leslie in the red kitchen? Or Alan and Richard in the green? Let's find out. Will you all please pick up your keypads? Because it's time to vote now. OK, let's see which way it's going to go. Already some of you are quite impetuous getting straight on that button. You know who you want to vote for. A few of you are lagging behind, but the boards are now full. Let's find out who's won today's 20-minute challenge. You can see by two, it's a Red Kitchen win! <laughs> And there's your Ready, Steady, Cook winner's plate. Excellent. Made in Stoke and Trent, I hope. Oh, I mm. certainly hope so, too. Yeah. And, of course, we're going to make a donation to your favourite charity. It's got to be sport relief. It's sport relief be. day, so thank you very much. Thank you very I appreciate much. the money. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much indeed. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Have they got it in for you? Last time I you were on your last, didn't you? I know. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, what we do, but he's sorry. a top chef. Let right. me he's tell got you. A, he's a fantastic chef. You've got the wooden spoon. Here's the mug to go with it, mate. Thank All you. All right, then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so room. much. God bless you. Well done to you too, Rich. Cheers, Always mate. a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Lamb and Nick Hancock! <laughs> OK, let's meet today's Spicky Bag Challenger. 
And this is Derek Stride from West Country Organic Herbs. So, how many different types of herbs you've got out there then, Derek? Well, we grow about 40 different herbs, mm -hmm. including nine different basils. Mm -hmm. Wow, nine different basils. That's extraordinary. Put your hand up if you knew there were more than two different types of basils, audience. Look at that. It's just one. That's most people, that's what they do, isn't it? Exactly. And what about people's taste in herbs? Have they changed over the years since you've been doing this business? Yeah, when we first started, people would maybe use a basil mm -hmm. just, or, or a particular herb, but now they're looking for different varieties. They're looking sure. for saying a twist on... on Something traditional. Oh, I'll tell you, and they travel so much more people, don't they? Oh, yeah. Like coriander going off to all these Asian countries and stuff like that. We just embrace it so much more. And there's all these sort of uh, wonderful sort of stuff it can do for your insides too. Absolutely. Oh, let's have a look in your bag there. Okay. Well, not me, but the chefs. And will you come across and have a little bit of a try later, Derek? I'd love to. Great. Thank you very much indeed. Thank Derek you. Derek from West Country Herbs, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing, Liz? All right, You all right, Rich? Yeah, all good. Look at this. This looks like the back of my old oh, grandmother's TV. Please. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Can you see, do you remember all the tubes that you stick out the back of the TV, yeah. Les? No. No. <laughs> 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 well, that's the... Uh, that's the, And we've also got uh, a little bit of uh, gruyere here. We've got some potatoes. We've got a lovely piece of uh, pork. We've got some raspberries, the old foin bois going there, tatties, courgettes and herbs. Leslie Waters, what would you do with that little lot? Oh, my goodness. What a fantastic bag. Um, I think... I will cut this into sort of medallions and and stuff it with loads and loads of garlic and thyme mm -hmm. and then pan fry it in um, butter and then do a really sort of whiny, cheesy sauce to go with it. I would pan fry these potatoes and then get them into the oven with loads and loads and loads of herbs and finish off with some butter at the end. So mm -hmm. it's like roasted potatoes really quickly. Um, with these, I think I do some sort of... Oh, I, Probably use we've got, um, some, mint what, we've got there, some mint there. Do like hot raspberries in like a sort of orange compote and serve it with thick whipped cream. Minty on the side. cream, lovely. <laughs> Sounds delicious, doesn't it? But uh, is that enough for our studio audience? Yes. Will uh, Richard persuade them to do something more? Absolutely. Red for Leslie, green for Richard. Let's find out what he comes up with. Um, so courgette, I love courgette. I think we'll do a little vegetarian starter, grated gruyere, grated um, courgettes, a little bit of breadcrumb through that and an egg. We'll make like a rissole. We'll pan mm. fry those. Yeah. Um, and then we'll uh, we use the um, use the lovely raspberries, a little bit of lemon balm. I'll do a raspberry mm. um, and orange soup, mm -hmm. um, and we'll do roasted pork. I think maybe just um, um, half that, maybe some sesame seeds in it. Um, just a, and a nice warm potato salad with, um, if we've got, I mean, I'm look, looking here. Oh, we've got bit of mint, bit of oregano. Ah, we use all those lovely fresh herbs. We've got all these lovely fresh herbs, courtesy oh, of Derek beautiful. over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who's it going to be? Once again, pick up those keypads. Green for Richard, red for Leslie. Who would you be voting for at home? I don't know. Once again, studio audience, please vote now. <laughs> All right, red, greens popping up all over the place here. It looks fairly even. Stevens at the moment. Come on then, computer, sort this out. Who's won today's 10 minute challenge? You can see by quite a margin, it's a green Ooh. kitchen win! Ooh. Oh, dang it! <laughs> Richard Phillips, your 10 minutes cooking time starts now. Right, Liz, if I can get you to make yeah. the rissoles for me, if you can grate me half the uh, courgette, yeah. half the cheese, that'd be great. That one for me. We're going to mix that okay. with some flour. Yeah, right, we're going to um, okay. pan them, then we're going to shallow fry them. All right, mate. Okay, I'm going to take half of this uh, this fillet. Yeah, one okay, half. What can I do for you, on. chef? Um, if you can whip me up a little bit of cream, please, Ains. No problem at all. Um, just a little bit of vanilla pot in there as well. There that'd you be go, really mate. good. Thank you. Cheers, mm -hmm. uh, Leslie. Um, yeah. So just a little bit of sugar in there and. Um, and just uh, a little bit of vanilla pot. Okay, no problem Thank at all. You. Just a touch of it. Yeah, magic. Thanks. Lovely. So I'm going to bat the uh, I'm going to bat the um, the pork out oh, so I can get it cooked in time. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to tell you, Leslie, you've uh, you're living out in the country. I know that you're a bit of a uh, an urban man, Richard. But what about herbs? Do you grow your own? Are you one of those people who like to sort of use fresh herbs, dried herbs, or do definitely. you take them from work? Tell me about that. I'm not great in the garden, but I'm, I, I will grow basil in the summer. Uh -huh. the, you know, get a big basil plant, loads of, like, marjoram, things, mm. hardy herbs. Just the one type of basil. I was just speaking to Derek over there. There are nine varieties of basil. That. Quite extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, there's the Thai uh, basils that yeah. we know about. OK, Thai basil. I know that when I went to Greece, you have those little miniature leaves, which yeah. are their kind of basil. Beautiful. And the traditional kind of Italian basil that we know. And they grow basil here in the country. But nine varieties. How many varieties would you might be using at work, then, Chef? Well, the purple. Is a, is a wonderful one. It yeah. uh, has a, it's a great colour. 
great aroma. It works mm. really well um, in fish dishes, and I, I make it with sort of escabeche and uh, sure. things like that. It's a pan fried sea bream, flake that in last. It's just wonderful. Tell us, sir, uh, what have you done with that pork chef? You and you've flattened it, out. it a slightly yeah, unusual exactly. way. Just flattened it so it's kept it, kept it nice and square. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Just so it cooks a bit quicker, actually, Ainsley. I'm getting my um, soup on the go here. This can be worked with um, strawberries, raspberries, anything like that. Um, and and do you sweeten do... it at all, chef? Yeah, I've got it, the yeah? sugar here, Ainsley. Just a little okay. bit of sugar, white wine. I put the lemon balm in there. Yeah. And the raspberries. Okay. With a bit of orange juice as well. And you want to serve this with a little bit of uh, creme chantilly. Yeah, exactly. And you're saying exactly. you want sugar and what else in there? Just a little bit of sugar and vanilla pod, please. Okay, yeah, vanilla, pod. vanilla pod. I'll just whip that a little bit. I'm just going to incorporate that into it now. Yeah. Icing yeah, sugar, obviously. Yes, please, Angie. Yeah. yeah, obviously, the um, uh, reason for doing okay, that is uh, just so it incorporates. Don't get it, nice. it doesn't become grainy. Okay, that's a good uh, little tip there, guys. You know, so many of us, when we're whipping up sugar and stuff like that, we put in caster sugar. That's what a lot of people do. Some people even put in granulated sugar. And you get all that kind of grittiness, isn't it, Liz? Mm. Far, far better to use a little bit of icing sugar. It's smoother. Yeah. And it really does make such a difference. You get that lovely, sort of smooth, creamy taste in your mouth, too. Olive oil. OK, Richard, uh, Leslie, how have you made oh, the four jets, then? Tell us about those, love. What, about the uh, little fritter thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice idea, I have to say. Great mm. vegetarian Very, dish. very nice idea. Um, do you want me to do some sort of dip to go with these, Richard? Yeah, if you can just um, take a little bit of yoghurt. We've got some lovely fresh mint here, which we'll um, just chiffonade up, so chop it up quite roughly, yeah. and yeah. fold that through the yoghurt. A little bit of lime in it would be great. All right, mate. Beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, how, many, how many different types of herbs do you use at work then, Chef? Oof, we use loads. Um, I would say somewhere in the region of 20 to 25. I say loads, it's probably not a, a huge amount in comparison to what Derek has, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's quite a large variety. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's very important that um, you just adapt. You know, if you like, um, you know, whether it's uh, sort of rosemary, whether it's thyme, whatever it might be, you can just adapt your own dishes around the herb, yeah. you know? If you don't like coriander, use something else. Yeah, but you can still do the same dish, you know? Well, there you go. This is all whipped up for you, Chef. And it's really interesting Perfect. that Thank you James. guys are actually talking about herbs because our quickie bag question today comes from David Simpson. David, how are you doing? Not too bad, thanks. Yeah, yeah good. Enjoying good. the right. show? Loving it, yeah. Picked brilliant. up a few tips? A few? Yeah, yeah, a few good ones. That's what it's all about. And uh, there's a few things that you've got lurking around at home called herbs. What do you want to know about them? Yeah. Is there, like, a, a rule of thumb as to which herbs work best with me which meats? Certain meats work well with certain herbs? I wouldn't say a rule of thumb. No. I mean, you know, people obviously think of rosemary, lamb, but, you know, I think thyme and sage work equally as well. Um, it's, like I said, it's just a matter of tasting something and adapting the dish to your preference. You know, coriander being a, a herb that a lot of people find quite overpowering. Don't like coriander? Use something like a lemon balm or lemongrass in there. Just adapt the recipe to whatever herb you actually like. And I think, as well, don't always think of those herbs to have with savoury things. Um, in Italy, they use rosemary an awful lot in puddings. And I think that, you know, the herbs that you normally use in a savoury way can be just as successful used with puddings, too. There you Brilliant. go. Hey, what do you like to use in, uh, in your puddings? Uh, basil, tarragon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not, nice. not in the puddings, uh, basil in the main course. Well, tarragon's, tarragon's nice, lovely. Yeah. It's got a lovely aniseed type yeah. flavour. And do you grow any of your own herbs? No. No, not yet. Not yet. You but might do it. after this. I'll Have a word with a bloke down there, Derek. He knows about 40 That's different varieties. Guy. All right, then. <laughs> nice talking to you. Good question. OK, chefs, time is moving on. We've got a wonderful... Uh, look at that. You've got the uh, little Chantilly cream in there, guys, infused with the icing sugar, obviously, and you've got the um, vanilla in there, too. Little vanilla seeds gives it a wonderful, intense flavour, and the chef is going to blitz that down in a minute and just pour that lovely kind of uh, raspberry syrup, if you like, on top. Courgette cakes, uh, quantities going in there, Les, roughly? Oh, blimey. Um, I've used half a large courgette, um, a couple of egg yolks, um, about two ounces of grated, the grated Gruyere cheese, mm -hmm. and then some flour to kind of bring it together. To bind it together, yeah. lovely, and just fry those just off fry very, them very off gently in, some olive in a bit oil. of olive oil. We've also got some uh, salty potatoes here, Chef. Yeah, uh, they're going to sit underneath my pork. OK, and what have you got with that? Is that a bit of oregano you've got in there? Yeah, just a very small amount of oregano, and they're just working really well. I'm trying, just trying mm. to utilise these wonderful herbs we've got. Lovely. Okay, okay we've got three dip, minutes guys. to go, guys. Okay. A nice amount of time, so we're not yeah, too imagine. rushed. That'd be great. Thanks. Let's All see right. how we get on with this. Uh, so anything gonna, else we can do for you, Chef? You're quite happy. Would you blend this, please? Uh, oh, I certainly will. That's the, uh, the raspberries, the orange, the sugar, 
and the white wine in there. Yeah. That's going to be our soup. Ideally, that should stay um, stay in the fridge overnight, really. But all oh, right. And you want, it, you want it to chill down. Exactly. Really, really cold. A couple of ice cubes in there, chef. Maybe just a kind of. Uh, yeah. Why not? If you got yeah. in there, I'll get them for you. Actually, I'm here. Okay. A few little ice cubes going hey, in. There. We don't want too much in there, over. just because. Um, we don't want to sort of water down that flavour, you know? OK. Yeah, I understand that, but it will just be... Uh, just a little bit. Just oh, a little bit of nice ice. Golden. Are they golden enough for you, Chef? Absolutely fantastic. OK, That's we've got right. a couple of minutes to go. OK, let's... Actually, these would be good trick. if you wanted a... Um, a non-vegetarian version. These would be fantastic served with bacon, actually, as a sort Absolutely, of a brunty. Yeah. They work really well, wouldn't they? Really? You're talking... You're, talk you're talking about recipes. Hey, what about a sauce with those? Are you doing a little fried egg, Chef? Lovely. I'm doing a little fried egg to go on, to on top of my pork. Mm -hmm. Let's go get these on the plate. So sauteed potatoes, butter, oil, all working really, really well. I've got a pot there for your dip. That's for your dip. Minutes to go now, guys. Right. We'll get that a tad foamy for yeah. you. Okay, okay that's, that's beautiful. Two veins. Love. Love. Okay, coming up for the one minute mark any second now. Right. Okay, we've got a little fried egg. Oh, oh. Sorry about that, yeah. sabotage! Sabotage! You'll never work here again, young man. Woo! Okay. Over to okay. go. As me egg, eggs coming on. Do you nearly. want to sit around there, Chef? Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pour that in there. Just should sit there nicely. Take the pork out. That was it. Gonna get a nice nuttiness on that. Lovely. Okay, my eggs should be there. Do you want a lid on that egg? Pop that on there. Enough of that in there. Do you want a lid on that egg, mate? Oh yeah, yeah it's nearly there, isn't it? All right. Yeah, about yeah. thirty seconds to go. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Gonna pop that in there. Fire that off. That's okay. How you doing, Liz? I'm all right, mate. Mm. You all right? I've kept a little bit of the old uh, raspberry soup there. Less than twenty seconds to go oh. now. Audience, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go! Well done, Richard. Well done, mate. Well, there you go. And please welcome back Derek. Come on, Derek, come and join us. Welcome to Derek. There you go. How you doing, mate? Very now, uh, I think the chef here has utilised all of your herbs here, so you need to we'll grab try. hold of a bit of cut and have a bit of a... Yeah, go on then. Even take that knife. Pretend you're at home in the country to want to cut through that. <laughs> right, so, go on, go through it. So, we've got, mm. um, so this is... Uh, I roasted this pork um, mm. with some butter in there, um, a little bit of the thyme that we had, um, and some sesame seeds. Mm. Um, and then what I've done is I've made like a burn was it, a brown butter as, yeah. as the sauce. So all the just juices it was actually stuff. cooked in. Yeah. A little bit of lemon juice in there. And just some sautéed courgettes with the other half of the courgette. Yeah. Leslie made these wonderful wrist holes for me. So that's a vegetarian, so it's um, cheese, mm. flour, um, the grated courgette. Oh, you can use it in any lovely. soft food. Yeah. And we just made a nice lime um, and uh, a mint yoghurt there to, to work alongside it. Sautéed potatoes with the oregano, which uh, really works well. Fried egg on top of the pork. That was just a batted out mm. pork. Is that good? Oh, that's fantastic. And you've got to have a little bit of this too. There we are, mate. Forgive me for shoving this in your No, get in there. Go Colourful. On, straight in there. You're Slightly happy with that? Up on mm. you, Is that lovely? Oh, that's just beautiful, yeah. Fantastic. And here's a couple of other beautiful people, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nick Hancock and Adam Lamb. Oh, I certainly hope you've enjoyed it today, ladies and gentlemen. All the recipes once again are on our website, so just, uh, you know, mm. just go there and have a look. But more importantly, what we definitely want you to look at is Sports Relief tonight. Have a great, great evening. See you soon on Ready, Teddy Cook. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>